Steve Cumberland back with you. Lake Monticello, we got my son, my oldest son, Clay, with us. I got a couple on here on Lake Monticello. We're bringing them in. I got uh, three white perch coming in at one time, people, and Clay's got them coming in at one time. We are back on the white perch in Lake Monticello. you got to love it. Hey, three at a time already. What can you say? What can you say? Come up slow with you get three, Clay. I did. I waited at the bottom. Uh, old Clay there, he hadn't been fishing in a while. And old boy's got a couple on one time right now. Boy, he's happy as a pig in slop, what I mean. I mean, he got three on, people. Reel it all the way up, Clay. Reel it all the way up. Now, yep, pull them on in, the boat. There you go. Just lift them up. There you go. There he goes. And pour, show the camera what you got, Clay. Swinging around. Look at that. Old Clay done caught three at one time on late. On a cellar. Oh my, you got to love it. You got to love it. And look at the fish finder, Clay. I want you to look at that now. Oh the fish finder is covered. Huh. They have come to greet the old fisherman and his oldest son on the fisherman's birthday. The fisherman fishing is gonna give me a present, show us the world. You got to love it. Oh my goodness, the whole school woke up and here they are in late Monticello. Oh my god. You got to love it, people. Look at that. Already got a nugget coming up. They down there, Clay. You got to get it back. Oh, my. That's six fish and two pools, people. You can't beat that. Six fish and two pools on the lake. Monticello. And, boy, I love it. Birthday present. They give them the old fish. Now, I ain't got but two that time. Oh, one oh, of them got off. One. Tall gone. One of them got off. I had two. One. Nice ones. And one of them got off. Drop it back down to the bottom. Oh, my. You got to love it. You got to love it, Clay. He's hitting it on the way down. I see him popping it. Did he get all the way down? You got it. Ho! Oh, he's hitting it. He's hitting it. My goodness. Huh? My goodness. Let's ease it up. If you go to ease it up, you'll hit it. If you got it all the way down. Hey, go. Clay's got some. No, he no, got all. Hey, we got to get the hang of this thing here. But I tell you right now, there for a second, that whole place is full of fish. Uh-oh. I think one of knocked my spoon around. I got to pick it up and fix my spoon. On Lake Monticello again this morning, and the fish are biting. <laughs> oh, my. There's one just laying down here. Got one that's laying in the boat, fluffing around. My goodness. Got to keep them going there, Clay. Got to keep them going. Point your rod back that way as far as you can. I don't want to get together. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh -oh. Something took it. Drop it back down and take it again. A lot of times it's small when you miss them. Clay's got them bouncing over there on his rod. He ain't catching them, but they hitting. They hitting. They hitting. They like it moving a little bit faster than that. I'm going to put it all the way down. All the way down. Get it all the way down. You got to get all the way down. You got to ease it up. And hopes want to hit it. It's long jerk. Don't get this snap jerk. It's long jerk. Pull it way up. There you go. And let, let another one take, uh, let another one take it. There you go. Clay's got one going. He got one going. Oh my. It's wrapped right. Now you are. He got one going. Lake Monticello. Oh my. Oh my. Nothing grabbed it right at the top of the water. <laughs> oh my. About to pull it out of his hand. Oh my. Look at that boy. Huh. He got two nice ones on. I mean, he got one whopper. Look at that. Show that big one right there close to the camera. Put it up there close to the camera, Clay. I tell you what, that's a good one right there. Uh, oh, he's he trying to let him off that his boat. <laughs> Look at that fish. That's a nice white perch right there, Clay's got. You got to love it. Ha! <laughs> you got to love it. The old fisherman and his son is catching fish on Lake Monticello. And there goes one on mine. Oh, my. Oh, my. You got to love it. Oh. Goodness. Oh, goodness. And this is fun, people. This is fun when you catch fish like that with your son. I think I got three. Great day. Great day. We were sitting out here not catching nothing, and all of a sudden it's like they woke up. There they are. A big old slab oh, white boy. perch. That right there, my friend, is a whopper. That, my fr friend, is a whopper white perch. Let Clay show you that one up, up the camera. That is a big white perch right there, laid out, done spawn, laid her egg. 
I'll tell you one thing, people. We have fun. Clay's got us more than man they're coming in now. They're coming in now. Oh, my. Oh, my. Look at Clay. He's playing that fish like he's an old pro. Trey Day. <laughs> I wish you could see the grin on that boy's face. <laughs> Lee. I'm telling you, he got two nine, I mean a dolly whopper. Them dolly whopper jumbo perch right there, people. My goodness. Hold that big one up to camera, Clay. My goodness, that boy's got a jumbo dolly whopper. I'm telling you, a dolly whopper. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my. Oh, my. Huh. You got to love it. The come around a circle swing is working this morning. My goodness. Oh, what a birthday present this is going to be. 66 and catching fish, don't life don't get no better than that. Huh? 66 and able to be able to catch fish, life don't get no better than that. I don't care who you are. Look at that. I mean, some of these white perch is nice, and this is a mediocre size. Hey, but he'll make a filet. Clay likes filet. Got beer battered. <laughs> beer batter, huh? He likes the beer batter now. He likes that McCormick beer batter filet perch. That's some good eating, people. I'm telling you right now, that's some good eating. You got to love it. You got to love it when you catch fish like Clay's jerking him left and right. Boy, he's giving that snatch on that jerk. He loves it. I'm going to make a fisherman out of him. I, he didn't like fishing, but I'm going to change his mind today. He remembers when I used to take him when he was a little kid and keep him out there all day long. He didn't like that. That messed him up. From like quarter to three in the morning <laughs> is what it felt like all the way to five in the afternoon <laughs> but hey if we was catching fish like this back then though he would probably like it both of us got them coming in my goodness huh my goodness you got to love it hey you got to love it the old fisherman and his oldest son lord you got to love it look at it. clay got two more I, no, we've, I, we've caught like what, 15, 16 fish? <laughs> yeah. and like it don't take long when they bite five the three minutes. plugs. Yeah. Once you get on these white perch, man, they schooling under you. You got them going. That fish find us full. The whole bunch has come under us this morning, and that's what we was wanting. A whole bunch is under here this morning, and we are going to catch them. Is that? Yeah. That's a good one. We went over to the catfish hole and caught one catfish, and I said, hey, just like him and his mama done, me and uh, me and his mama done, we come on, went over there and couldn't catch him, and I had to, I had to come perch fishing, and old perch didn't let me down. We'd already done good. If we don't catch him, nothing, we'd already caught a good minute. And they'll stay here for a while, and then they'll leave. They always do, but we got to keep them on us. Got to keep them on us. They will leave. I'm telling you right now, they will leave. And they'll leave, and you don't know where they went. The bottom of the lake. They like to go out the bottom of the lake. But uh, hey. We having fun right now. I'm telling you that. Now, see, they're gone. They'll come and go. We'll get them back, hopefully. But they will. They'll come and go. They will. When it's warm weather, those fish are moving real fast. They're hard to keep under you. Once you get them under, you got to keep them going. You got to keep them going. And what we need to do now is feed on the boat again and bring them back to us. And here they come. Look at that. Look at them come back. Look at that. Coming back to that beating, people. I'm telling you. Oh, my. They there. All we got to do is reel it up. Catch one. Oh. I can't believe one ain't taking it on the way up. All them fish I see down there. I don't know. I can't believe it. Lake Monticello once again on a cloudy Friday on the old fisherman's birthday. Oh, my. And that clay bird is nailing him. He getting hang of this thing, that boy's. Hey, he getting the hang of this thing starting to look like his mama over there fishing. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. Uh-oh, I had one. That boy's getting the hang of it. He's got one. He's, he's disappointed because he thinks he ain't got but one. Ain't that something? <laughs> <laughs> Lee, disappointed. Watch now. Don't bend that rod down too straight. Yeah, I just had to get the rig over. Uh-oh. Oh, come on. I'm missing them. I'm missing them. They hitting, but I'm missing them. I'm missing them. My goodness. I know y'all getting tired of me catching perch, but hey, I ain't getting tired of catching perch. <laughs> I'll tell you that. I know that's what y'all out there say, that boy don't do nothing but catch perch. But hey, I did catch some nice catfish yesterday now. Look at that. More Montanacella white perch coming in the boat. You gotta love it. 
You just got to run. Oh my good gracious. Let's go, because I'll tell you right now, people, you get a couple of nice white perch on at one time, that is a fun pull. That, my friend, is a fun pull. Look at that. Two monocella white perch. My gosh. My goodness. Huh? You gotta love it. That clay bar now, he, he done got the hang of it. I wish you'd see that rod bending. My goodness. <laughs> that thing, he got, about to pull him in the water. I'm gonna have to put a rope on his back. That's what I used to do when he was real little. I tie a rope to him in case the fish pulled him out. That's a true story. That's a true story. You used to take a catfish, tie a rope on a hand rod. Two years old, that boy was fishing. I think I started him a little early. That might have been the problem. <laughs> Golly. He got a good one on. He got two good ones. He got two good ones on. Oh, is it three? No, he got two. Two nice ones. Show the, show the fish each time, Clay. They can't see you that. I don't know if you can see them, but he got two good ones, and I got one coming on, people. This is, this is fun fishing here. Hey, you wait. You wait till I send him a bill for this guide service today. Oh, my. We go by the amount of fish you catch on my guide trip. <laughs> <laughs> so much per you fish. You probably make a pretty good business. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so much per fish when you come with the old fish. We don't, if you don't catch them, you don't pay. But if you catch them, you pay. <laughs> That's kind of like they do with these big ranches when you go deer hunt. When you kill a deer, you got to pay big money. Well, you go with the old fishermen. We ever start a guide service as a man about a about a fish. You go broke you if pay. you go perch fishing. <laughs> you better have some money, cause I won't charge too much. I promise you. <laughs> this is a beautiful day. Overcast, ain't hot, ain't cold, just perfect. Ain't a lot of boats out here. You can't beat it. Good for us fair-skinned folk. <laughs> Clay, I talk so much. Clay, I'm so used to fishing by myself. I don't even give the boy a chance to say nothing. He will talk. Rest of them didn't want to talk. His mama didn't want to talk. Adam, he didn't much want to talk. Clay wants to talk, and I don't even give him time to talk. Yeah, you do talk a lot. <laughs> he said I do talk a lot. Do you hear that? Hey, I can't help it. Born in me. Born in me. All right, Mr. White Perch. Well, yeah, I know you out there. You can't fool the old fish. You can't fool the old fish. Uh-oh. Missed him. Had a bite. Had a bite. Had a bite. Come on, man. Come on. Let's bring him in. Let's bring him in. Tell you what, now, slack off a little bit. I'm going to have to call him back in. That's what you got to do when they leave you. All you got to do, I'm telling you, I, I guarantee you on that, the old fisherman got the fish call right in. Don't do that to your good expensive boat, though, people. You might put dents in it. It's an old boat. I don't care. One reason I don't want a new boat, I get a new boat, I lose my fish call. It don't take but a couple friends to stay around, they'll come to it. We gotta start over here. Now, I don't see them like I did. We got a little shallow is what we're doing. Uh, I done the cardinal sin, I got. I didn't focus. You know what I told you about focusing. You got to focus on where you at when you catch fish, where you can stay on that spot. There's a few coming back in here now. There's a few winners. Yeah, there's more than a few. I think we fixed to catch one, hopefully. Never know though. Never know. Those fish look a little big there. That might be catfish. They might not bite. And then again, they might bite. We don't know. Got to put that hook down there and try. That's all we can do. All we can do. Look at that. Clay done got him. He done got him. Oh, I don't He's think he, he got a little one that got off or something. I don't know what it is. I, I wanna, think you got him. Keep on coming. I want to see if he can get me a bigger yeah, one. Yeah, but you give him slack, you let him get tangled up. He's there. Just keep, just keep pulling. Easing it up slow. There, there you go. What you got? Oh, what you got? Going way out. That might be a bass, eh? No, it's something small. Something small. Little perch. Yeah. Well, he's eatable. Yeah, that's an eating size. That's a bear. No, no, we'll eat that. Old Claybird got a small one, medium sized perch. Fish on us again. I can tell you that. All we got to do is throw it out there and, and reel it. I hope. I hope. That fish I can't 
They all over the place and then I ain't getting a bite. I don't know, they get a little bit immune to us, I'm afraid. There's something wrong with my jig. I gotta see, something must be wrong with my jig. Sometimes these fish are suspend up. You, you think they're not there and they'll be up a little tighter under the boat. You gotta reel it up and they'll take it on the way up sometimes. Then my jig was messed up. I knew it was something wrong. They, you got a jig that's flipped up, they won't bite it. They won't bite the ones that ain't flipped up if you got one that ain't running right. So you got to make sure that them jigs is straight on your hook. If you ain't got them straight, they won't bite it. It's that simple. It kind of scares the other ones away uh, and uh, takes the effect off the good ones running uh, straight. So if you got one jig out of the three that don't look right, they won't bite it. And that's the way it is. Boy, I tell you right now, we done got a pile of fish and we just started. My goodness. My goodness. Uh oh. I don't see nothing. They left them. Gotta call them again. Gotta make them know we're here. Hey, yeah. Uh oh. I ain't got the bottom. That ain't good. That ain't good. I got the bottom. That ain't good at all. That ain't good at all. So how am I doing that? You have to use that rig. <laughs> I don't think it'll work with this. That's a lot of money out there. That's a lot of money and a lot of time. You might want to pull yours up. I'm on something. You're getting right on top of it, too. We both be done lost. Pull those up a minute. Let me go to the back. I'm not on the bottom. We'll bring it, pull it up a little bit, and let me pull it back where I can try to get this off. If I, if I go at another angle. When you get hung up like this, people, you got to go at another angle. That's what I was scared of right now. That's all right. There you go. You got to go at another angle to try to shake it loose. And hopefully you can bounce it off. I might be the hook, hook the old big stump or something. Might not come off. There it comes. See that? That's the way you do it. You go back away from it, twitch it, and it'll come off. That's the way. And then I got a fish on the way to come <laughs> off. That's what I like. Huh? You get it off a stump and then catch a fish on the way up. I'm you can't beat that. Down. You fine. You can't beat that. Get it off the stump and pull it up and catch a fish. You gotta love it. That's a little one. Ain't nothing to do. I'm gonna throw him back. But that's a little one. Hey, we've been catching some nice perch this morning. That's the first fish we threw back. My goodness. I ain't lying. We've been catching some good ones. Look at old Clay. Oh my. That boy can snatch. He got that quick reflex, is what I'm talking about. Come on, give me another one. Yes, yeah, sir. Now he's getting greedy. He wants two or three. He don't want no one. I got him greedy in five minutes. A while ago, he just wanted one. Now he wants three. Just a baby. Yeah, that's... What do you think? He's a fillet. You can get a fillet out of him. But anyhow, hey, boy, are we having a large time. I just want to show y'all my oldest son. I'm proud of him. Clay Cumliner. He works over the plant. He's a, a, a nuclear operator at the plant. He's in training over there. And, uh, and when they had that new plant, when it comes in operation, he'll be running that new plant uh, part of the, a team running that new plant at Lake Mono, and next to Lake Monticello. So he'll be thinking about me out here fishing because I'll be here every day while he's over there working. Him and his mama both work at the plant. I'm proud of both of them. They got good jobs and they got to be proud of family when they succeed in life. Old Clay went to tech and got him a, a electrical degree because I was an electrician. He helped me, boy. He was some good help. That joke, I'd put him in the attic running wires when we were building houses. And he a hard working boy, good boy, proud of my son. And uh, and he went and got an electrical degree and decided he would he went over to the plant and worked as a on an intern uh, system they got over there and, and uh he found out that he wanted to be an operator and he went back and got a mechanical degree and a, uh, a nuclear degree and now he's over there working, got him a good job, and uh and he he, he just got married by what a year and a half ago or so and yeah. and uh you want me, Coming to, tell up on you want me to tell the rest <laughs> i guess he can and uh just told me the other day that him and his wife is expecting their first child and i'll have me a little grandbaby to, to spoil 
And I'm looking forward to that. My goodness sakes, I'm happy as a pig in slop. The old fisherman, he's happy. He's happy. So, yeah, nothing but good news in this boat today. We're catching fish. My birthday, my son's expecting the baby, and he got him in the boat. Life can't get no better. I'm telling you. The old fisherman, Lake Monticello, with his son. It's been about two years since I've been fishing. And hadn't been fishing. Last time I took him, it, it's been, it might have been more than two years. I think it was after me and Adam caught all them crappies I was telling you about a couple of, it might be three years, but, but uh, and uh, it took him right after that, and we couldn't catch nothing much. So he, he's due for a good fishing trip. I can tell you that, he's due for a good fishing trip. And if we don't catch nothing, we done got this barrel half full of fish. My goodness, I know we got 30 in there already. <laughs> uh, just started. So, hey, we might end up going back by the catfish and catching some of those monster catfish for today's though. That's one thing about when you go fishing with the old fishermen, we able to adapt. We can change over right midstream. We can be catching one species and we go catch another one. Species. Species of fish. <laughs> From a white perch to a catfish, we'll do that in a minute or vice versa. And of course, now we got off the fish right now. I've been talking. I got here in 30. And every time you notice on my videos, it happens all the time, even when Clay's in the boat. I get to talking, I lose what? My focus. I lose my focus. And brother, when you lose your focus, it's you, you quit catching fish. Even Clay quit catching them. Now I'm going to show you what we're going to do here. Now I'm going to get my focus back. Now I'm going to show you the difference between fishing with focus and non focus. And I've done it before and I'm going to do it again. I'm going to prove a point. Right now, we just kind of drifted around, don't even know where I'm at. I'll be honest with you, I don't even know where I'm at. I wasn't <laughs> focused. So we're going to take a break here, and Clay's going to fix his line. He's going to untangle his line there where it'll be straight, pull it up, un let it untwist itself. You want that line kind of hanging off the other line. There you go, and you let it, you let them untangle, let them twist around until they get straight every so often. And you get your lines hanging free. We're using uh, two Mr. Crappies, and uh, he's using a small Wahoo spoon. I'm using a, uh, a bigger uh, a three quarter Wahoo spoon. He's using a half. And. Because uh, you're trying to catch a bigger fish. No, that's just <laughs> what was on the rod. And I handed him the best rod, the one that I thought was easier to operate. This near kind of wants to backlash on you when you let it down. The reason I handed him that rod, the easier rod to operate. His rod's a little limber, more limber than mine. Uh, but hey, it feels good when you catch a fish on it. I can tell you that. That's for sure. So, anyhow, we got off fish. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to get back on them. I got to figure out where we went to get back on them. It's no telling. Them jokers are moving around out here. There's a big area out here. It's a couple hundred yards square of a flat out here that we right next to the drop that we fishing on. And I'm trying to. We got out a little deeper when we found them a while ago. I'm dropping off the edge. Now we're gonna drop down right here. And I'm going to beat the boat again, see if we can't call some to us. We offside this thing a little bit, now we're 42 foot, and I think they're more offside this morning. And sometimes they're up on top of the ridge, sometimes they're offside, sometimes they're off, way offside. But, but today, I'm hoping that we can catch them right We We know they're out there. We know they're right around here. Because we fished for a few minutes before we turned the camera on, they couldn't do any good, and all of a sudden they showed up. And that's what they do. They'll come to you a lot of times. You won't see nothing. And you drop down, and them suckers are coming to you. And I don't know if they hear the vibration or they hear the, the clanking of the spoon bumping on the bottom, whatever. But they will, if they're looking for something to eat, they will come to you a lot of times. So, And that's what they did a while ago, and we got in a good school of them. So we know they're out here, but there's no guarantee you can stay on them. And it, sometimes it breaks, and we can try to catch a couple more and let you go. This, this film is going to get long, and his mama don't like me to make long film. So... We're going to catch a couple more, and we're going to turn you off. But we have already had one heck of a day. And Lake Monticello, the old fisherman and his son, fishing on the old fisherman's birthday. you got to love it. But what we'll do is we're going to turn the camera off in a few minutes. And uh, and and at that point, we'll start it back, and we get back on some fish. Right now, they kind of slowed up. And I know I'm fixing to get back on them, but I don't want to burn. Uh, I think we're getting probably up to over 20 minutes or more. Uh, I'm not 20, sure. 24. 24 minutes, minutes and that's a, that's a good video. But I wanted to show you and tell you how proud I am to be 
on Lake Monticello with my oldest son, oh, Clay, and, and he just had a bite. I hope we can catch one to end the show. That's what I'd like to do. And uh, and to be on Lake Monticello with You're my right oldest son. Dropping it down the second you pull it back up. If you drop this thing down, what we doing is he's learning. On the up. He's learning today. They, they like it. Pull it up. Cause you gradually make that thing look like it's swimming away from them. They like it. And uh, that's why the coming out of circle swing so good. You got a bite there. You got. It. You got it. That might end the show. If Oak Clay can bring up two or three, that would be wonderful. But they're not that thick. Let him swim around. So Let him swim around a little bit and nothing to take it. I think he's got number two. And what he's doing, he's just letting that baby swim around. Them other ones are looking at the other fish, think they, that they got something to eat and the other ones don't have, and they're trying to get them another one. They see that other jig swimming. Think but I there ain't it. no guarantee he's got two. He might not have but one. I think it might be. But he's got an A fish coming in on Lake Monticello, and he's got two. And he's going to hold him in front of the camera and shut you off. But it's been good being with y'all. And I want you to meet my oldest son, Clay Kamalander. A uh, fine young man. I'm proud of him. Bye, y'all.